So I'm going to draw the inside. I'm going to try and do it quite simply, but this is what they'll want to see. So the form, again, let's look just for shape first of all. And the very rough shape is, it's not a rectangle, but I'm basing it on those two lines, which I can, you can see are not parallel. And then we'll just put a very stark line on top there, and then that comes off at an angle. And then we can create that form. So we have a stem which is going to bend round. We've got that line as a kind of guide. And then once we've cut the pepper, I can see this shape in here, which is leading to the bulbous bit here. Now I'm not worried too much about the accuracy at the moment because I'm just really sketching it in. And then these curves here are really evocative of a uh, pepper. Those are the things that tell us what it is. Now this line here is actually quite the curve, so I've got that as a guide. I'm going to curve it out and curve it back in again. And then this line here is curving in and out again. So let's just, again, total accuracy is not critical because it's a natural form. So it will vary. Then I can see it goes down to a little nub and then back up. So we might as well just describe that. All these little details are the magic that makes the drawing work in the end and then that is a sort of that sort of thickness now this line isn't going to stay as a line it's not important in that way but i'm going to put it in as a guide almost comes like that and this form here joins up with that and there we go then we get our our central bit and then you can see that this surface curves underneath like that and reaches th this part here so we'll just pop that in we have these seeds which are starting about there because we have this part there so i'm just going to put it in as a line at the moment and then i'm going to just try and describe some of these seeds I'm not going to fuss too much. I'm just putting some shapes in as I see the shapes like this. And then there are seeds behind. So just put some shapes in as I see them. And then if I look at this stalk, so we've bent it round there. And it obviously curves at the top. And then here it comes back. And then we have a plane there again which is where it was cut. And then at the bottom of the stalk, this is gonna come up like that. And then on this side here, we have actually the surface. So I might as well just draw that in. I can't see it on the other side. So we've got a basic sketch, which is slightly confusing at the moment, uh, but I will, um, map that out with some of these colours. So actually, I think I'm going to start with a yellow on here. And then I'm going to very quickly put in, actually, I'm not going to put in a red, I'm going to put in an orange because that red really is very orange. So when I go over it with the red in the time lapse, it will become much, much stronger. Um, this red is almost a purple because it's in shadow. But the most important thing is going to be this shadow here, this area. That is what's going to give this drawing the depth and is going to make us understand what's happening. So I'm going to start with red as underpainting because the red isn't going to be the thing that actually counts. It's going to be the shadow. So I'm going to first of all go over it with purple and then I'm going to use a brown and then we'll probably go back over it in red in the end, just to tie it into the red tones. But that shadow is going to be very important. And the shadow is darkest at the top because the light is actually getting in around here. So I'm just intensifying that there. And I'm getting the brown. I'm going to go over it in the brown to give it the warmth that it needs. But that is going to be the really important part. And then we'll get the red again, but we'll finish that off in the time lapse. Um, now, just to tie it in again, we've got darkness here. So I am going to put a little bit of 
purple underneath that because I want this to tie in so that the eye can see that this is made of the same stuff as this. It will all start to come together in the time lapse.